Now I think this is what did it. The blush. I feel like everything is what did it. <laughs> oh. Stevens. I do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on my channel and I'm also a makeup artist so if you're interested in any of that definitely come back and watch more videos and subscribe before you leave. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my updated makeup routine. This is basically what I wear whenever I'm like going out doing something, taking pictures, wanna, wanna be like cute. You know what I'm saying? Like cute cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So if you guys are interested in how I got this makeup look, my updated products, they're pretty much the same. If you are um, a returning viewer, you know. Um, so yeah, nothing really new, but like, yeah, y'all wanted an updated makeup routine. So who am I not to give y'all what y'all want? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and get into this video. I did ramble a little bit about just life, just to tap it. Um, just to tap it. It wasn't a lot. I kind of was all over the place. Um, yeah, just, just, I'm going to get it together. This is my first time filming a video this year and I'm liking sleep. So, um, that could be it as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy the makeup look. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, what else? What else? Um, I think that's all I have to say. Let's get into the video. So I posted a video of me getting my microlinks installed, which I have uninstalled them. But the color is still here because I attached the um, microlinks that I didn't use. Well, Trish didn't use. I attached them to my Her Given Hair clip-ins. So, yeah, I had like this bright idea to like put it on my clip-ins because I really wanted this color back because I didn't get to... Um, film a lot of content that I liked with the color and I was just like I need to put it back in my hair because one of y'all complimented my makeup in the install video and it's not too much different from what I really do on the daily basis um, and I really don't remember when was the last time I posted a updated makeup routine um, but I got a compliment on my makeup and I was just like I'm gonna do a video. So here we are, had to bring the hair back. Okay, this is the first video I'm filming of the year. It's Tuesday, no, Thursday, January 19th, 4.37. Y'all really didn't need to know all that information, but I told you so. Yeah, I'm just excited to talk to y'all and film. The sun came back out, so I'm excited. Um, but yeah, let me move this over because I really need the mirror to be like, right. <gasps> the sun is coming back out. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, hold on. Like, I really need to hurry up and do my makeup, okay? Um, and every time I do this makeup, it's always rushed. So it's a good it's a good time to do it because I'm always rushing when I'm doing this makeup. Um, I did this, well, the video that you guys are like, we need to update it. Foundation routine or update it. You know makeup routine um i did my makeup in the shop that day and it lasted me till like 4 a.m in the morning i didn't get back into my city um until like 4 a.m so my makeup was pretty much on for a good mm, 10 hours i think she started my microlinks at like 5 p.m um, so yeah, I had the makeup on for a while. Um, I know this one is probably blurring me right now. Let me scoot up. I probably should scoot up for the, like, makeup portion. Okay, that works. So I'm doing my brows with the NYX Brow Pencil in, um, Brunette. Y'all know this is my go-to and I'm still using it. I don't know why I'm showing y'all like that, but... <laughs> NYX Brow Pencil in Brunette. And I'm just starting by underlining my brow. And once I get this defined arch, I'm gonna go up top, which I'll just go ahead and do now. And just fill in the sparse spots. All right, so that's the outline of my brow. And then I'll go up front, just do like three hair-like strokes like that. 
and then I'll just fill in the rest of my brow. So up here, uh -huh. three. So just three little strokes. And then I'll just fill in. So now it looks like this. All right, so what's new, y'all? I just cleaned my 242 matte brush so that I can carve out my brows with the LA Girl Concealer in Chestnut. But no, seriously, how have y'all been? I've been good. Oh, it's a new year, of course. And I'm just excited for what the new year has um, to bring. I don't know, I just really am going to try to make the best of this year. Um, there's a lot that I'm trying to do this year. I'm trying to be more consistent on YouTube as well because I stay making excuses as to why I'm not consistent on this platform or just show up a little bit more than like one time a month. Um, this bump is driving me bananas. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that I'm trying to do this year. And I, I feel like I say this every year. I'm trying to... I want to be more consistent because I really do and it kind of makes me sad that I just I'm not more active on this platform I be ripping and running all the time if you watch my vlogs y'all see me in and out of town all the time um, <laughs> and that's just it that's just my life um, so sometimes I can't like sit down all the time and you know film something like this but I'm trying to get back to it, at least doing like one makeup video a month or something like that. Um, I do still have my um, everyday makeup brush video coming. I'll probably film that tomorrow. Um, and just exciting things. I'm just excited to be more active on my platforms. I've been very active on TikTok and I've been very active on Instagram what I'm trying to and yeah I'm just trying to be more present you know so that's a, a goal for this year to just be more consistent I don't usually like to say my uploading days that I'm trying to upload on because something <laughs> it just always something just always stops me like this week I didn't upload yesterday because I didn't have a video to post yesterday which was Wednesday so I'm trying to post on Wednesdays and Sundays so yeah those are the days that I've said to myself that I'm trying to upload one um, but I'm still trying to like figure out what are good days for me to upload on I know Sunday is always a good day to upload y'all let me know what days do you want me to upload on I'm gonna still try to give y'all vlogs of course but on other days like in the middle of the week what day should i upload on please let me know in the comments i would greatly appreciate that all right so basically what i just did was take the la girl concealer carve out my brows and then i just um took it on my eyelid and blanked out my eyelid color i'm making sure it's like really really smooth and it's not a lot of product at all i just make sure my eyelid is covered fully and then pat out the excess and just make sure it looks like skin you know so once i have the concealer on my eyelid i make sure everything is like patted out and then before i set this down with the kit cosmetic powder one of my faves well this is my current fave literally obsessed with it um once i feel like everything is like you know smooth i'll take the little bit of powder that's in here and I'll just go in and set my eyelid. And I don't go in with a lot of product because I don't want to over powder my eyelids. I just wanna make sure it's locked into place just enough. And like I said, when I'm doing this makeup look, I'm literally rushing. I don't I don't pay this much attention to, you know, what I'm doing for real. Um, my brushes be dirty. It's, it's really, get it how you live. <laughs> So now, oh, and that was the Morphe E8 brush, and this is how it looks, because I'm not sure if this brush is available anymore, um, but this is the one that I've been using for years, um, and 
yeah, Morphe E8. And the previous brush was the MAC 242. And then I'm gonna go in with like a fluffy brush and I'm using my Morphe palette. Oop. All right, so y'all have seen this eyeshadow palette and I pretty much just use these colors right here um, and then these colors right here. I don't really touch the colorful colors. Maybe one day, I don't know, but I don't really be using the other colors, which is why I really have been wanting to try the um, Mario palette because it's compact, it's small, easy to travel with, easy to pack, and I do the same eye look all the time, so yeah. So I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm using this Morphe um, and Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush and I'm taking this color down here. It's like a deep burnt orange color and I'm just gonna go through my crease and my hand is at the back of the brush because I don't want too much pressure. I want this to be blown out. And I just keep going back and forth in my crease I try to keep the color off of my lid because sometimes I don't put anything on my lid. So I try to, you know, give it like a gradient, if that makes sense. And I want to make sure the edges are like diffused. So I'm going to be light handed over here to make sure they blend out softly. Should I? Let me bring y'all in a little bit. I'm still using that same color. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's another color in here, but it's whatever. And I have been hearing things about Morphe and I heard that they're like silently closing down some of their stores, which, which is like sad for the employees because it's like what happened to me over again. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got laid off. Well, if you don't know, I work for I used to work for Mac Cosmetics for about five years, and then um, during the pandemic, we got laid off. And then after the pandemic, they hired like a whole new team. So it kind of weird, but like, what happened happened. But yeah, that it kind of feels like that same thing happening with people at Morphe, and it's just sad because like these are people's jobs. These are people's livelihood that you're like affecting that's why i move the way i do when it comes to these jobs because they will lay you off or fire you or do whatever and hire somebody else like like that in a week a new person will be in your spot so if you know this is a stepping stone for you make sure it's a stepping stone don't get too comfortable in your position always keep interviewing um make sure you're learning growing um expanding your knowledge getting educated on your industry seeking out licenses and stuff like that just to make sure your career is like progressing you know what i'm saying you don't want to ever feel like you're stuck which is how i feel but i still have you guys so which is like a blessing because not Everybody doesn't have this, you know what I'm saying? I have y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I lost my job and I didn't have anything else going for me. No, I lost my job and I still have my YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean, like, y'all are always, like, here for me. Like, I don't be saying much for real, but, like, y'all really do be here. Like, y'all really be watching me go through stuff, but not really watching me go through stuff. Oh, wait. So I'm using this purple color. I think this is what set it off and the lashes. Um, I use this purple color to like deepen it just a little bit. I don't just a, literally, I literally just do a little bit, not too much at all because I don't want it to be too dark because I still want it to be a day look that can transition into night without me having to touch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> So, um, I just put a little bit of that purple in it and I just feel like it elevates the look. Okay, so after this, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. And I really need to get something to drink because I feel like my mouth is so dry right now. It's actually ridiculous. 
So I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner from LA Girl. Okay, so I can't find my bag. I just ate a pizza. <laughs> and I'm drinking my chai tea. Alright, so <laughs> I have my LA Girl gel. Hold on. Okay, so this is what I'm lining my eyelids with. Um, and I was looking for my sharpener, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to have to finesse this, you know. I start on the outer corner of my eye. And I do pull it out. Very gently. And I just bring it inward. And then like tight line the inner corner. And then when I put my lashes on, then I'll probably make it a little bit thicker. But just so I don't go overboard, I like to start very thin. And then, you know, figure out what I want to do once the lashes are on. And then there's always one eye that looks a little different. Because I think my eyes are shaped differently. I feel like this one is smaller and this one is like rounder. But that's just... Yeah, and then this brow is like arched right here and this one is more... I don't know, but... I try to get them as close as possible. And that's how... The liner is looking in the sun. The sunset. Oh, it looks so pretty. All right, so the next step is lashes and I'm living for the sun. I'm living for the sun, okay? Anytime the sun is out, my footage looks amazing. Okay. So these are the lashes that I've been wearing. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all these before. They're on my Amazon storefront. But I've been cutting them in three because I just feel like... Y'all know how you put lashes on and it just doesn't look right? <laughs> like some part of the lash is not on correctly. So I've just been taking a little bit more time with my lashes. And putting them on individually and it's just been doing what it needs to do so I just cut them up and then I just place them on one by one so I still use the duo glue all-time favorite lash glue so I'll just take one cluster and add the glue on there now this glue is pretty much dried out but I'm really trying to like scrape the last bit out and then once I have it on the first one I'll just go ahead and put it on my eye because it it's already pretty much dry grab a mirror and then I'll just like go like this <laughs> and then like place it down and then just hook it I don't, I don't know how to explain it y'all I don't know how to explain it but it's so easy like it just sits there it really just sits there now I'm taking the middle piece I'm curling it a little bit take off the excess glue very gently so you don't mess up the lash and then I'm gonna place some glue on it I hope I don't look cross at it <laughs> so I'm taking that middle cluster and I'm tilting like my elbow is like up here I'm tilting it up, raising my eyebrows all the way up, and I'm placing it down on my lash line, and then like hooking it. I don't know. <laughs> I really hope that makes sense. I'm getting it as close to my lash line as possible. I'm not putting it under my lashes, they're on top. And they literally just sit there and it just looks way, 
and it just looks way better because it's following your specific eye shape instead of just having a full lash and trying to manipulate it and mold the lash to fit your eye shape instead of just cut it up and it's just easier to you know place on your eye and since my glue is pretty much dry <laughs> it's old I can just go ahead and place it directly where I want it so I'm just lifting my hand upward eyebrows up and then the mirror is like under my eyes so I can I can see like under here and then I'm just placing it right down on my lash line as close as possible and then it just sticks and even if I'm not wearing any makeup I can still put these lashes on they still look really really good with no makeup on at all because sometimes with other lashes that I'm wearing I I never like how they look when I don't have any makeup on but these with or without makeup there I go okay so the eyes are pretty much done now I'm just going back over the glue that didn't dry black and I'm just going back over that lash line and then I'll also use this time to like fix the liner if I feel like it looks a little funky and this is pretty much the eyes I yeah <laughs> okay so moving on to the face I've been currently using this good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer and I just feel like this makes my skin look so good I take like two pumps and just wrap it all over and I did do my skincare before I even sat down to put on makeup so that's definitely a must make sure you start with a fresh clean moisturized canvas or face it's a must now for foundation i've been using the same exact foundation nothing has really changed at all <laughs> i think the biggest thing that just has changed is my lashes and that's pretty much it but i'm using the makeup forever foundation in yfi 45 and this is definitely a little too dark for me right now, but I wanted to use the same products that I used that day. So we're just going with it, it's fine. It's not too much darker, I don't think. It's fine. <laughs> oh, and the brush that I'm using is from Laura Mercier. So I'm just gonna take it all over the forehead. And I'm just going to keep pressing the foundation in until I feel like it's like one with my skin. Didn't really put too much on my nose, but hey, that's whatever. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Concealer in 53 and do a little bit of correcting any dark marks. And then I'm just gonna use a bead of blender to press it out. Then I'm just gonna take the excess concealer on the back of my hand from doing my brows earlier and go ahead and start the highlighting process up under my eye. Take a little bit more LA Girl Concealer and Chestnut. That was definitely too much. Okay, so I'm just going to take that and let it sit up under my eyes real quick. And then I do like to go in and bring the concealer into the side of my nose. Like that. Is my nose pulling? No, it's fine. And bring it up under the cheekbone. And then I always like to make sure 
I blend this out really good because the way my cheekbones sit, it just looks even sharper. So, yeah, I just try to make sure I blend it out really good. Sometimes I miss it. Sometimes I can't really help the way it looks because my cheekbones just make it look way harsher than what it really is in person. But, hey, I do what I can. It looks so much more defined on camera, but it is really not. It's I promise y'all it's not. <laughs> it's just the way my cheeks are and the way my cheekbones sit. Now I'm just going to go back to the under eyes and blend that concealer out. And by this time you can already see it like setting, but this doesn't like lock into place until you like set it. So, I really like that about this concealer. And the color is just always spot on. It's not too light, but it just is light enough. And then I'm just taking the kit powder off of the back of my hand. And I'm just going to press that into my under eyes. I'm just taking the rest of that powder and setting the rest of my face. I'm literally just taking the sponge all over my face and setting any shiny area I see. Now I'm taking Toffee Teas from Fenty and I'm using a Morphe M437 brush. This is how it looks. And I'm just pressing it into the cream and then just pressing it into my face and this doesn't disturb my base because of how light my taps are I'm not like but I'm like gently pressing it into my skin and then you can't forget the forehead the forehead that's what brings it together I like to pull all of the stray hairs back and bronze the forehead like really really good so nice such a bronze sun kissed look and then for blush I'm using Rosie does it from Mac and I'm just gonna press this into my cheek I'm placing it on the apples of my cheek and then just pulling it outward. Now I think this is what did it. The blush. I feel like everything is what did it. <laughs> I think I said that about the lashes. This is what did it. Okay. So we have blush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I'm taking this very old BH Cosmetics brush that I reviewed so many years ago and I think the video is still up on my channel, not too much. And I'm just taking it into this bronzer, the Sunstalker Thick Mint bronze. Look at this color. I don't know if I showed y'all this before. I don't... Have I showed y'all? I don't know. But I finally got my hands on it. And when I tell you, it does what I need it to do. It does what I need it to do. I needed a bronzer that would be able, a powder bronzer that would be able to be the same color and set my cream bronzer. And this does it. Like, do you see this? And then I'll just do the same thing. Yep, yep. And it just looks so good. It just looks so good. Texture and all. <laughs> I feel like I do want to go back over my blush and like powder it down. 
which is I'm probably yeah okay so I'm just taking some of the kit powder this is way too much so I'm that's a lot dusting it off I feel like people are watching me and my window is open okay so I need it to be like evenly into the brush and then I'm just going to set my blush so it isn't too shiny oh what did i oh that's concealer i just got concealer on my face crap now it looks like i have light spots okay hold on okay Alright, so I'm just using the powder to set the blush. You can also dust the whole entire face if you want to. For the lips, I'm using the LA Girl Gel Pencil Liner in brown. And I'm just going to line my lips. I really need a sharpener because this is like scratching, scratching my lips. What in the world? Okay, so lip liner is on. Now I'm taking this Revlon lipstick in 047 Dare to be Nude or something like that. Yeah, Dare to be Nude. I don't know if y'all can see that. And I just do like this. Because <laughs> I want it on, but then I don't want it a lot. You know? all right okay so the makeup is pretty much done i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair real quick um and i'll be right back um like i told y'all these are my her given hair clip-ins and then the highlights are from curls queen and i'll link the video of me getting them installed but this is not the install i just judged up what i could because I, I really wanted these highlights back in my head so i just made them clip-ins or attached i attached the micro links to my clip-ins i'm gonna try to make a video because the way i just finessed this i was just like what <laughs> micro links who your girl is back clip-ins will always be like the way to go because come on come on <laughs> stop playing <laughs> all right you guys so that is it for this makeup look i just filmed my intro 50 lamb times <laughs> So yeah, this is the makeup look. I really like how it came out. Um, if I was wearing this makeup look out, I would like it later on. Well, I mean, I like it now. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get it twisted. I like it now, but this makeup look really gets better as it gets some wear to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Happy New Year. I'm so happy to be back filming like some content video instead of like vlogs, even though I like the vlogs. The vlogs are good and sometimes the vlogs be the only thing I could I could put out. Um, but I'm happy to be sitting here with you guys behind all of these lights. <laughs> I really need to figure out my lighting situation, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all don't really care about that. That's for me to figure out. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'll probably pop my face up right here, editing Shani. Make sure you do it. <laughs> and then I'm also going to um, put a video right here as well. So if you guys haven't seen this video or these videos, because it might be a playlist or it might just be a video, whatever I put right there, definitely check it out. And I will see y'all in my next upload.